Well, it's no secret that right now we're currently in a shift. We're heading into a digital renaissance era with artificial intelligence leading the way and more technology advancements that are yet to come. So I kind of want to put things into context for you so that way you have an awareness and understanding of the perspective in which I am coming from in order for you to get ahead of 99% of people because they aren't even thinking about things like this. They're not looking at at things like like this so therefore they're not doing things like this and I'm gonna get into that in a moment but kind of taking you back and, and giving you a perspective back in the day my Nana told me that um, when she was growing up they would go to market and when they would go to the market they would walk down to the market in Jamaica and they would exchange the the vegetables and things that uh, my Gigi grew in her garden for um, money clothes like exchange for trade and things like that back in Jamaica now if you think about it it's basically the same thing that we're doing today except on a much larger scale which is the internet because it's given access it's given us access to a more global market and it's a decentralized place where trade can take place okay so basically what goes around comes around it just comes back around with a twist so how can you cash in or even tap in on this new digital renaissance era that we're moving into and one way would be to stop niching okay ditch the niche okay don't be afraid to dive deep into the things that interest you and i mean all the things that interest you most people are out here just regurgitating what another person said and they are just a, basically a watered down version of that individual instead of mixing things up to fit them and their individuality like me for example i'm a polymath uh, it took me a minute to figure that out. I just recently found that out, but that is what I am. And I have a vast array of knowledge across many different disciplines, which makes it very hard for me to niche or to talk about one specific thing. And in my research, in me uncovering that, um, what a polymath is and how to use that to my advantage. I come to find out that there is a lot of famous polymaths out here, like, or out there, like Leonardo uh, da Vinci and uh, Michelangelo, Einstein, they were all polymaths. And they used the knowledge they had in different disciplines and combined them to create something novel or something new or an insightful or a new perspective. Um, from things that already existed. So I'm like, okay, I'm digging that, all right? And I know that 99% of people aren't doing that. They're not going in on all of their interests to the point where they can connect one with the other and create something unique, something individual and unique to them. This not only allows you to look at things from a different perspective, but it allows you to not hold back, don't feel like you're in a box, and you can explore all the things that are of interest to you as well as it allows you to create your own job, your own title. Because moving forward, the creators are going to become the it thing, okay? It, I mean, we're already in the creator economy, but creator in and of itself means more than just a YouTuber or think, or an inventor, but it, it means to be able to take all the things you're interested in and be able to connect dots, to come up with things and look at things from a new perspective. And 99% of people aren't doing that. And that's how you can get ahead because that's what we're moving toward in the digital renaissance It's putting together. We have so much information out here is putting together all of that information, different people, different perspectives, different ways to view things, but also being humble enough 
to be able to look at someone else's point of view and change your mind. And it's okay to change your mind when you learn new things. You learn new things and you adopt new things into your flow. And it's okay to do that. And a lot of people aren't. So if you're looking at getting ahead, that's just one way that you can get ahead and make yourself stand out from everybody else. Another thing that will help you stand above 99% of other people and what they're not doing is they're not becoming dopamine dealers. You have to be giving your audience shots of dopamine to keep their attention. And that's basically what this is. We as humans, that dopamine, that's why we go on TikTok because it's giving us them shots of dopamine to keep us entertained, to make us happy, to give us this good feeling in the inside. And that is the way we need to grab attention. And attention is the new currency in the digital renaissance era. And I am starting to learn this, which it seems like I've been learning this the hard way. And those who are able to get the attention and keep the attention of the audience will be the ones who will be able to move mountains in their business. Um, Without attention, you have nobody to, to sell to. Nobody knows who you are. Nobody knows what you do. And therefore, they don't know what you sell. So you have to be able to grab their attention and keep their attention. And you do this by becoming a dopamine dealer and learning how to give shots of dopamine to your audience. Everybody is fighting for your audience's attention. That's why they are Google ads, um, Facebook, Instagram ads, all of these different ads, your audience is become, um, being shown this all day. That's why their attention spans is is decreasing because we are, as a society, becoming so accustomed and used to seeing these type of ads that it really takes something to, unique for to grab our attention and then to keep it on top of that. So you have to be giving them shots of dopamine in order to keep their attention with long enough to where they can hear and what you are about, what you have to offer. And then that way you'll be able to grow your audience in that way and make more sales in your business. So let's recap because there's two things that you can start working on today and start building the skills for tomorrow, which will be the digital renaissance era that we're currently shifting into at this point in time that will give you a heads up and a leap forward on 99% of people who are not doing these things. One, people are not going in on their interests, taking their interests, connecting the dots and creating something unique, something original, something individual to them. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to come up with something never heard of because everything's been heard of at this point. It's about taking this over here and this over here and making your own ingredients from things that already exist. People are not doing that. And for two, people need to learn how to become dopamine dealers and grow an audience. Basically, they need to be able to get attention, whether that's through spoken word, whether that's through writing, whether that's through video or whatever, you need to find the skill based on you and your strengths and what you like to do to be able to give your audience that dopamine hit that will allow you to build your audience. Because when you start building an audience, it'll make it easier for you to build your personal brand, start growing a business and start developing products and services that those individuals will want. And it makes your job as a entrepreneur so much easier when that happens. Okay. So I hope that you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. This video came to you based on my year in review. I did do a year in review. I went ahead and sent that email in her diary newsletter. And of all the things I was looking at um, this year, what I've learned and what I was researching to learn more about myself. So that way I can do better in 2024. So if this is something that you like, go ahead, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay. As always, love you. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.